Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? Yes, my name is Wayne, and you are watching Inside Fairlawn. And you know where I am today? Yes, I think you can tell where I am today. We are right here again at the Maurice M. Pine Free Public Library. Why? Because there's going to be another art happening inside today. This is a little bit different than one of our individual artists who's having an opening reception. This, I believe, is an entire show. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Stay with me. Don't go away. All right, folks. We are now upstairs on the second floor. And as you can see, we have some interesting displays going on. And you want to know what this is all about? So do I. And I have a feeling this young lady right over here is going to tell me. Introduce yourself. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Candy Feinberg. I'm president of the Fair Lawn Art Association. And this is an exhibition of all the different classes that go on at the Art Association. Tell me about that. When you say different classes, what is the Art Association really about? We teach painting, drawing, printmaking, uh, sewing, quilting, anything you can think of. We have classes for adults and children. I always say my students are from 3 to 96. 3 to 96. <laughs> <laughs> I just a little bit of a range over there. That's pretty good. How long have you guys been around? We've been around over 60 years now. Oh, wow. We're sponsored by the Recreation Department. Good, good. And we have a lot of new classes coming in, two-day workshops, some regular uh, semestered classes also. Well, you know, speaking of that, suppose people just maybe want to get some more info on how they can reach you. Do you know, do you have a number they can do that? Yes, they can call me at 201-410-4113. Again, 201-410-4113. Now, you must be an artist yourself, I would think, huh? Yes. Do you have any of your work? Up I have here? one piece here. I don't get to do a lot because I'm where, organizing where is it? everything. It's right over here. It's, show me, show me, show me, show me. Now, we'll call this a slightly an abstract. Well, I see yes. a face. Is this an oil? This is oil. Okay. Oil and pen. Very good. Mm -hmm. How do you like it when people actually see your work, by the way? <laughs> I like it. You do? It's, mm -hmm, it's fun. Well, Everybody in town always appreciates the idea of having art being supported here in town. Yes. And actually being here at the library today is even fantastic. Yes. So what I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, I'm going to walk around and maybe just chat with some of the people that are here and see how they feel and maybe see their work. Sure. You okay with that? I'm fine. Enjoy the show. Candy, thank you for always something you do for our town too, okay? <laughs> All right, folks, let's see, come on walk around see if I can find somebody to talk to. Don't go away. All right, I just spoke with Candy about all the activities going on today. And this is one of the items, and I have a feeling this is specially made by a couple of people. And you want to know something? I think this guy right over here. Hey, what's your name? Darren. How old are you, Darren? Eleven. So which one is yours? Show me. This one. Now, have you ever done anything like this before? This looks kind of special. Um, when I was in the younger class, I made a patchwork Wait, pillow. you're eleven and you talk about being in the younger class? Mm-hmm. Okay, no, go ahead. Keep on going. Um... And I taught my sister how to do it, too. You taught your sister? Mm -hmm. But did you know how to do this before the class even started, how to do patchwork? <laughs> no. But it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about maybe art in the future for yourself? Uh, maybe? Yeah. This is so cool. You know, this is something that's really big. And you want to know something? We have all these people that are staring at us all over here wanting to know what's going on. That's why you and I are talking. Because this is a very special show. How do you feel when people see your stuff? What do you think? How does it make you feel? Um, it makes me feel happy. Well, look, good luck. Everything looks really cool. Maybe I'll see you in the future for another show. Okay, Dara? Okay. Okay, folks, stay by. More people to chat with. All right, folks, I think I'm going to keep on walking around and try talk with some other folks. This looks like a very interesting piece, and I bet you the gentleman standing right next to me is the one who did it. Sir, hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Sig Westerman. And I have a feeling that you're uh, on the senior citizen age range. Is that true? That is very, very true. May I ask you your age? Uh, well, uh, let's say I'm in my late 90s. Late 90s? God bless you, sir. Let's and, just start uh, with that. And uh, Tell me about this. Well, I... I the, this is the first painting I ever did. First painting ever you did? I ever did. I retired from business and uh, a few other things that I was active in, and I decided I wanted to learn how to paint. 
And this is the first painting I did. Wow. At the Fairlawn Art Association. And they set up this uh, still life arrangement. And I just looked at it and put it on canvas. This is oil base? What this is oil on canvas, what? yes. What was it like to make you first get involved with it and stay with it all these years? Well, I, I fiddled around with drawing all my life, and uh, so I thought I would start to reorganize it into something, you know, more elaborate than just pencil drawing. I think it's really good. As a matter of fact, let me just ask you this. Showing your work to the general public is something that people usually look forward to. How do you feel having your work up here and having people see it? Well, I'm very embarrassed because I don't, I don't think my work compares to what else is around here. That is so good. I was getting ready to pour some <laughs> wine for myself. What are you talking about? That looks great. Well, when I painted that, when I painted that wine bottle, I painted the label too. It's uh, the detail of the label. And they said, in, in the art world, you don't paint the detail of a label. But look how detailed that really is. That's yeah. fantastic. Why would they say don't do it? Well, it's not art. That's illustration. That's a, I'm an illustrator, not an artist. Aha! Ah, there's a fine line, but I think you captured the whole <laughs> image right there. Anyway, I love it. And I was so do I. Very pleased that uh, I was as a, a Fairland Art Association brought me to that. Well, we were, I'm glad I had a chance to chat with you. So thanks Could very you, much for your time. Continue good luck, enjoy your show, and uh, go have some wine. Thank you. All right, folks, I'm going to walk around and chat with more people. Don't go away. All right, just a little while ago, I had a chance to chat with one of the young children who was actually involved with this tapestry here. But, you know, I found out that each one is made by a different individual. And I have a feeling this young lady right over here might have done one too. Are one of these yours? Yeah. First of all, what's your name? Kira. Kira, and how old are you, Kira? I'm 11 years old. Okay, show me which one is yours. Oh, it happens to be the one who's right here. Now, let me look at this. What do I see in there? Um, what's the design a little bit? I kind of made it so that there are like diamonds in the corners and then one big one in the center. Diamonds. Girls always love diamonds, don't they? I, I heard that somewhere. Is this the first time you ever tried making something like this? A little bit, no. no. Loud as I can hear. I made a patchwork pillow. Oh, you, you did? How'd yes. that turn out? It was good. I actually used the same fabric. It's the same fabric. Mm -hmm. Now, this is part of one whole big thing. How do you feel being part of this big project? Have you been doing this kind of stuff for a little while, or do you want to maybe continue doing it for a little while? I like doing it, and I'd continue it. You think art may be in your future? Probably. I think so. How do you feel with some crazy guy with a cowboy hat talking to you? Good. You're okay with that, huh? Yeah. Well, I think you are, too. Congratulations. It's great to have people see your work. Let me ask you about that. How do you feel when people see what you do? Does that make you feel a certain way? It makes me feel good. It does? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with this? Is this going to be a permanent display, I wonder? I'm not sure. Okay, but if, if not, make sure that you eventually take that home. And I see you have pins there to do this, but this is a great little project. Thank you so much for talking with me, and good luck in the future, okay? Thank you. Okay, folks, I'm going to keep on walking around. Don't go away. All right, I am continuing to walk around a little bit, and I found out something kind of interesting. I spoke to a couple of the kids that were involved with this incredible tapestry here, and I was kind of wondering how this all got put together. And you know who I was suggested I talk to? This person right over here. Say hi to everybody. Hi, my name is Sandra Guevara, and I'm the sewing teacher at the rec center. Ah, I so this is how you sort of got the kids enabled to do this. Yes. Why did you want to even have this as a project in the first place? Well, I wanted them to work with the design first of the patchwork. And we work with the puzzle first. Okay, come on, come on this side. I want people to see this. In other words, each student is individual for what we see on the on the board here. But to get to that point, they kind of practice with this first to see what kind of design they're going to come up with. Is that yes, how that goes? Exactly. In other words, these are cubes that come out and can be matched. Yes, they up. can play with that and to create a pattern like this one made it to this patchwork. Ah, so each one of these actually had like a little practice session with the blocks over there yes. first. That's a great idea. What made you think about doing something like that? Because I wanted to make sewing fun, to play with something first and then create it, and use the sewing machine to do the finished piece 
from here they're gonna make pillows out of it. Oh, these are, this is like just their beginning it's of their existence. Just the beginning of the project. Are yes. most of them gonna end up being pillows? Yes. That's a great project, really. Is sewing a, 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 an art form that's maybe having a rebirth? Do you think? Yeah. You hope so. Being I a sewing teacher, so, I would yeah. think so, right? Yeah. How I long have you been involved with the art association? Well, about five years now. About five years. I now. have two classes: uh, beginners class and teenagers class. Well, from what I see up here, I think you did a good job. Because for one of all, it's very artistic and crafty, and the way you did it is very nice. Thank, Thank you for you. chatting with me for a second, okay? Thank you. All right, folks, I'm going to keep on walking around. Stay with me. Don't go away. All right, I'm continuing my journey at this wonderful exhibition, and we were talking about all the different students that are involved. I chatted with one instructor, but I think I have another one right over here. Good afternoon, oh, sir. How are you? Fine. How are you? Very well. First of all, what's your name? My name is Basil Balin, B-A-Y-L-I-N. Thank you for spelling it. I appreciate that. And I understand you're an instructor at the uh, Yes, I am. I, I, I'm an instructor at the uh, community school, Okay. art school. I teach oil paintings. How long have you been doing that? By I've the way? been teaching for years and years and years. Let's just say a couple of years. Well, now, let's huh? say a couple of years. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I wanted to have you stand first of all in front of your work, and I believe you mentioned to me that this is a oil. It's an oil painting, and this may have been a person that you knew somewhere along the yes, way. Something yes. like that. This is a uh, very attractive woman uh, that lives in my building. I wanted to uh, uh, paint. Uh, not a straight portrait. I didn't want a portrait because a portrait is, is uh, stiff. So I wanted a person to do something and I, I finally decided on maybe uh, with carrot cards. Tarot cards. I know. I understand what you're saying. Yes. It gives a little bit more warmth and feeling to it. Right. Is this some of the things that you maybe find is a little difficult to get across in your teaching, by the way? Uh, is it hard to explain to you know, the kids? The thing is, uh, it, it, the painting has to be interesting, number one, you know? And a portrait, unless it's a painting of someone that you know and they, they want the person port they want the person's portrait, you know, uh, a lot of people just walk right by because it's a straight on, just someone, you know, sitting there and all. But here, she's doing something, you know. She has the cards in front of her. So is that a hard thing to teach? Is it one of uh, yeah, yeah. It's it, it makes the painting interesting. Okay. Do you find sometimes that you enjoy just? Watching your students eventually have a show like this that maybe shows off some of your teachings? Of course. Of I course. think you would too. Yes. I think uh, it's one of the things that I think we should always continue to grow and support here in Fairlawn. And the Fairlawn Art Association, including yourselves, is an important part of that so we can continue to have and support art. Thank you for chatting with me. We're going to let people know how long the show is running here and continue good luck with your teachings. Thank you very much. And thank you for Appreciate talking it. with me. Yes. All right, folks, I'm going to go back out on the road to visit more people, so look for me. I'll be coming around your neighborhood real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next okay. time inside Fairlawn.